Buenos días y bienvenidos a mundoamoral.es Confession 5599 I'm turning 24 next month. My stepfather and his best friend got me drunk last night and ended up having sex with me. Since they made a video of the entire thing, I saw it wasn't rape. I actually insignated it by stripping down to my panties and teasing them both. I know I'm looking like the world's largest asshole and a bitch. But something inside me is telling me that it was wrong. I told my man. And even show her the video. She laughed it off, same voice with the boys. And she, al she also kept telling me that maybe deep down inside me there was some kind of a fantasy. She wasn't concerned about it, especially since he's not really my father. She added that I could do much worse. I didn't know where to feel though, especially since I've caught myself watching last night's video constantly. Is something wrong with me? <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, my little lady, definitely is something wrong with you. There's something really rotten, dead inside of you. You're so fucking mentally sick. You better, you you better kill yourself. You know, there's no cure for you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Next confession. Confession 5394. I am the worst, sickest, most twisted pervert you hoped you'd never meet. Some accuse me of being evil, but I'm actually a really nice guy with a horrible personality disorder. I seduce married women to see if I can, and how long it takes me to get them to have a sexual relationship and do anything I want in bed. Typically, this will go on until either the woman breaks it off or I break up her marriage. I don't do it for money. I never ask for that. But admit that many, maybe most, women will show me with gifts over the course of our relationship. Have you have broken things off after some petting but before intercourse? But most will progress from the foreplay to a full-blown sexual relationship and then tell me they love me and break it off with their husbands. I love the thrill of the chase, the challenge of winning a woman over. I thoroughly enjoy sex. But the moment a woman breaks up a marriage, I totally lose interest and I break it off with her. Over the years, I've probably caused more about 20 marriages to fall apart with several of them being marriages of 25 years or more. I do not feel any guilt, because I know that I have really helped these women who were unappreciated, unsatisfied, and either in bad relationships, or who had compromised in ways that prevented them from experiencing happiness. That's self condescendence my friend. Oh my god, you're giving yourself excuses for being such an asshole, but you know, keep breathing. In my experience, most wives need and welcome a real sexual awakening and appreciate the gift of gaining a knowledge of the true self. Oh my god, mate! You're so self-explanatory. You need so many excuses, you know, to simply make an argument about why you're doing what you did not to feel the fucking bullshit of a human being you are. But it's okay. Shall we continue, shall we? I'm always surprised and shocked at how many conservative, shy and prudish women only need to be told that they are beautiful and cherished and fun to listen to. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. All I need to do is establish an emotional connection and then these women have pity in my hands. Even women who are very religious have given themselves to me completely after I show them that I see them and cherish them. Most tell me that they have only been with their husband and sometimes one or two others before they were married. I can't believe how many have only had sex in the missionary position. These ladies have starved and cannot wait to have me explore their bodies with my hands and kiss them everywhere. With the women who told me that they are conservative and uncomfortable doing anything except traditional sex, I walk to help them explore the joys and sensations they have been denied, usually leading them to accepting oral sex, getting them to perform oral sex, and then graduating them to doggy-style vaginal sex. 
Usually, once they have their awakening, they can't get enough. I'm always surprised at the formerly pretty and religious wife who will beg me to experiment with them in anal sex and demand I come on the tits and face. Well, my friend, I mean, this is kind of a tricky and complex issue we have at hands because it's not, it's not that you are some sort, you know, of messiah, sex messiah or anything you know, like, not at all. And it's not either that these women are simply like denied pleasure or something like, not at all either. It is just a combination of, you know, environmental facts which lead uh, to these to this outcome, to this unfair and to this unwanted outcome in which, you know, people are not getting what they normally would want to get, which is sexual pleasure and stuff like, hey. So, what's the deal here? The deal mainly is that when it gets to, you know, when, when, you know, when the typical traditional relationship gets to a point in which none of them is like willing to explore any, any, any new boundary, you know, they simply like get stuck in, you know, I don't know, in the old inner things, in the, the old same stories. And they're like, okay, we're not going to do anything new. We're not going to do anything else. It's like, we're going to do the same shit over and over and over and over and over. And then when you came there with, you know, with this sort of new fancy stuff and stuff, you know, it's like, oh my God, this is something new. I have spent my last 25, 30 years of my fucking entire life doing nothing but the same over and over and over. And then this is new. I love this. Oh, come on, boy. Come on, boy, it's not that fucking difficult to tell why the fuck they are so, you know, willing to put your fucking dick inside them. Because they have not done anything else in 25 years. Oh my fucking god. You are a fucking disgusting piece of shit. You're mistreating these women because you are using them. You are utilizing them as your mass sexual toys because you are such a pussy. You're such a half of a man that you're not even capable of, you know, flirting with women your age. Because you're fucking pussy, you fucking loser. No one wants to have sex with you. You need to go for that old ladies which have a fucking pitiful life like yours to have sex with. Because you feel related to them. Because you need to feel that you're capable to do someone Something that you're not able actually to give to people your age because you're fucking pussy Let it sink bro sucker I'm sorry for the woman though